And everybody wants to see a camera wants to put their best foot forward. It's almost like they're lying to themselves because they truly know this is not how they actually think. But because the camera's rolling, I don't want to appear, you know, ignorant to the masses that may come across this little clip. Right? So we put on the positive mask and we dance around that. We put on the show. But once the cameras are off and the lights are off, guess what? The self-talk that we give ourselves, if we give ourselves is back to where it belongs, which is in the negative pile. We're experiencing more self-hate in the 21st century than any other period in time, I find. This is clearly my opinion, okay? Um, but this is what I'm observing. This is what I'm, I'm coming to realize, right? And there are several contributing factors that have led us to this space right now, this point in time, and that is technology, freedom of expression, right? And people not being able to, you know, be as resourceful as we once were as human beings. There are a lot more of us that are not resourceful. I find that they are. Now, pardon me, because I'm speaking about just my small ecosystem of people that I am able to come in contact with. <clears throat> I can't speak globally, but I'm sure you are listening to this in your part of the world. You can say, hey, you know what? He might be onto something. Right. It wouldn't be a far, far stretch for me to make that assumption. And and this is the problem. We are just not as resourceful as we used to be. If you look back in history, they had not even a fraction of what we have available to us as far as resources and access but how productive are we? When was the last time you heard or saw someone invent something magnificent, magnificent that's like, you know, that, that made it across the globe because all must have, right? An example would be like transportation. Okay? The different modes of transportation and when that invention took, took place or even electricity and so forth, right? When those things came to Came to be, you look around the globe, a large percentage of people have access to transportation modes, whether it's a bicycle, whether it's a car, whether it's a train, a bus, right, a skateboard, right, an e bike, name it. Transportation has transcended across time. But what's the most recent invention? And don't tell me social media platforms. <laughs> Please don't tell me it's social media platforms, right? So there's a lot happening, right? And there's a great deal of confusion about who we are and what our true purpose is today than any other time, right, historically. So, and that's a big question. If you click on YouTube right now or online, there's a huge conversation going on. There's a battle with feminism, um, men's rights. That's another, you know, topic that we'll discuss in a, in a later episode. But there's a great deal of confusion about how to identify and, and who you want to be and, and all of this. Okay. So times have changed. Yes. But is it always for the better? OK, um, one thing I've noticed with all this shifting and changing and confusion is that as people, we oppress ourselves as individuals more now. Right. If not. I mean, yeah, more now than ever before. OK, there's a lot of self oppression happening than, than having a global or, or societal influence going on right now. Like an individual would doubt themselves before someone else would lose faith in them. So it's almost like you're going into whatever, what, whatever um, job opportunity, let's say, or a competition. That athlete is going to self-doubt before someone else says, hey, you're not good enough. Even though they made it to the stage, you've been preparing up until this point. To get on the stage and perform. But 
what happens? So we have more say as to what we decide to do and what we don't do more so now than the world around us. 